We are LMTV, Lynn Mar Television, now in our 10th year of award-winning broadcast excellence. Lynn Mar, your news starts now. Good morning, Lynn Mar. It's Tuesday, September 18th, 2012. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Lynn Mar campus. My top story, she said yes. Thanks, Amy. Looking forward to homecoming with you. But Linmar's top story, a change for the homecoming parade. The parade will start at 5.15 rather than 5 on Thursday, October 4th. The parade will take the same route as last year, west from the stadium, down to Novak, and back to the high school. Keep it here to LMTV for the very latest on homecoming 2012. In other news, the Linmar Armed Services Club wants you. Today for the freshman files, Becky and Smaruthi tell us more. Today is Sergeant Kesey and Tyler Ayala Pagan from the Armed Services Club. Thanks for stopping by. Tyler, who can join? Anyone can join, freshmen through seniors. Sergeant, what is the club about and why is it so important to join? The club is about teamwork. It's a group of individuals that are interested in working together, learning about the military, as well as helping out inside the community. And we understand the club has been involved in some community projects. Yes, we've been in two wheelchair ramp builds so far and plan on doing more and it's about helping disabled people get out of their homes. Do you have to join the military if you join the club? No. When and where does your club meet? Mondays in the study mall and Wednesdays in the food court. Thanks again guys for coming in. That's the Linmar Armed Services Club. Check it out. Jordan, back to you. Thanks guys. So cute. Auditions for the fall play are today at 4 p.m. in the Little Theater. It's open to all sophomores, juniors, and seniors who are not in the thespian play. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Smith. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. Build the best can creation. When? September 21st at 5 o'clock during the sophomore game. Where? Outside Lynn Mar Stadium. How? Get your friends together and bring your own cans to build the best can tower. All of the cans will go to Mission of Hope Food Bank. There will be prizes. My name is Madison Scott. I'm 10 years old and I have leukemia. Leukemia is um, cancer in the blood. The hardest thing would probably have to be not being able to go outside, not being able to have a normal life. Um, losing my hair was kind of hard too. You can help children like Madison by donating general household items to Ronald McDonald House Charities. Donation drop-offs are in the Music Hall and outside the Media Center. Welcome back. The deadline is Friday to order a Homecoming 2012 t-shirt. Pick up an order form from Mrs. Dayton or in the main office. Cost is $12. Time is running out! to turn in the homecoming date request form for your non linmar date. The forms are available in the main office. Now, Matt joins us with sports. Thanks, Jordan. On the scoreboard, boys golf came in first out of four teams at fin Finkmine. Trevor McCann was the co-medalist and shot a four under. Today in Linmar sports, JV sophomore and varsity volleyball will host Iowa City West. Varsity girls swimming will meet Cedar Falls at Holmes Junior High. In other sports news, if you order a volleyball t-shirt, they're in. They can be picked up in the main office. If you are interested in being a part of this year's girls basketball team, please sign up in the athletic office by Friday. That's sports, Jordan. Back to you. Thanks, Matt. In news from the counseling office, this is the last day to sign up for a fall job shadow. See your counselor today. A rep from Le James International in Iowa City will be in the counseling office today at 1230. Bethel University will be here at 1.30. Bradley University stops by at 2. And a rep from Dort College will be in the counseling office tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m. For more on these stories, stop by the counselor's office or check out their website. Now, Robert Hunt joins us with Arts and Clubs. Thanks, Jordan. On the Arts and Clubs scene, there is an important tri-meeting tomorrow morning at 8.05 in the Little Theater. Elections and middle school OCM Olympics will be discussed. If you can't make it, see Kevin McCauley. Freshman student advisory members, your first meeting is this Thursday morning at 8.30 in the food court. Please let your first period or first block teacher know by tomorrow that you will be gone Thursday morning. Questions? Contact the main office. There is a Model UN meeting Thursday morning at 8 in room E133. 
Please see Mr. Garrels with any questions. Attention all students involved in SOTA, TRI, and Student Ambassadors. The annual tailgate party is this Friday during the sophomore game. Enter the game as normal and go to the northwest corner of the stadium for free food, drinks, and prizes. As always, this is a fun-filled event. See you there. That's your club update. Jordan, back to you. Thank you, Robert Hunt. Now, Matt joins us with lunch. What day is it, Matt? Alrighty, it's Chicken Tuesday. We got some chicken strips and mashed potatoes with gravy, an apple, a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables. Other lines will offer the potato bar, pizza, or a la carte items. The food court serves chicken strips and baked fries. That's lunch, Jordan. Back to you. Thanks, Matt. Chicken is my favorite. We're in for a cool, crisp day. Your LMTV forecast calls for sunny skies with a high of 60. Tomorrow will be sunny and warmer with a high of 73. And Thursday will be mostly sunny with a high of 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website or follow us on Twitter. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a great day, Linmar.